players or is it team? Other levels. So maybe it's not that concealed, actually. Speaking of things concealed, right? On the screen brought to you live and in the flesh by Siberia Studios, we got game one of series two in between Open Esports up against Team Hat. Who will come out on top? We have a clear underdog up against a clear front runner, but we saw how that went in series one of War Barbie, so things could get interesting fast. Yeah, and uh, by the way, Harry, uh, so I wanted to uh, finish my point about the thing. You, 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 you cannot just go like all the heroes like against Fanny. Like, like you already see Hoopla, you already see Martis. And if you see like Melissa on top of it, is it like too, too much maybe for one hero? Potentially too much, but speaking of too much, the fight's already breaking out right now. Man with the angel is gonna go ahead and immobilize criminal for name. He's gonna find the first blood already right over the one minute mark, and that's the type of start you want to see with the fan warbar. Wow, Fred Green was actually so good with denying that ball of Hoofra with the error ball effect. And Fanny goes just straight in because of that. Ooh, that's actually a great point, actually. Being able to cancel that magic ball is absolutely detrimental because what other answer do they have to stop the steel cables besides maybe a lucky mortal coils catching the thing? But that's not going to happen as often as the magic ball stopping the thing. So that's a great point that you made. And honestly, whether it was intentional or not should be something that should be looking to be replicated. But speaking of replicated, obviously, again, another clear fan favorite here is Team Hack. Sub 60%, but look at that. The magic ball on the man stopping him just a little bit. able to escape the first turtle spawning in. I feel like Rice Criminal is kind of like slow with the prediction of direction cable going to go, but I think this time he just didn't go because Harry was not level 4. Could have been the case here, but look at this. Turtle is being detected. Protocols has already been used. Niggas are not but the heart guard is going to help him sustain. Fanny needs to get out of the way, but he's not going to be able to. Since he takes him down, jungler already missing. Kito will trade out, though, takes out Okinawa. Harith goes down in that 1v1. Turtle is still up for fast for Akami Esports. Fanny just spawned back in. Doesn't have the purple buff. Gonna have to make a quick decision. Will they go for the purple or will they contest with no purple and look to go for the 50 50 direction? It looks like he's actually going to go for the Trade. As Okami, as Okami will go ahead and pick up this turtle, you can see over there on the other side, Purple Buff by name being worked on for the plus one for the trade. And Shin will go pick up his own Purple Buff as well because no one is threatening his Purple Buff. Yeah, you can see this strategy from the you know, Asian teams actually a lot. They trade off the turtle for the, uh, for the Purple Buff. Yeah, and sometimes for the gold laner field probably, but this time for the purple buff. And uh, Okami Iskos didn't read that quite well, and now they left up without purple buff for the jungle. Absolutely. So I love that they went for that. They go for that trade, and it went unanswered. And it keeps them in the lead. Not by a lot, but a lead is a lead. And you can see that the trade they went for obviously worked out. And they still have the purple buff for themselves to work with. And I'm loving that they spaced it out. Not going to rush both purple buffs. They'll still have something to fall back on. Let's say if Man ended up falling for whatever reason in between that time, had a purple buff to fall on. But now he's going to go ahead and look to secure it. But uh oh. Akami Esports. Starting to move in, but the purple buff already been secured, so no pressure will be there. But look at them stacking up in the river. Yeah, something going to happen. It's, it's about to rain, probably. <laughs> but the herd actually died like solo to the bad yeah. And I wanted to say like some miscommunication, slight miscommunication. Oh, hold on. Speaking of communication, they're trying to go make the play have the hard guard, but gets pulled by the Divine Judgment. That's going to drop the West to half HP, even with the Angel as Ramon Force drops down, but no one's going to be left out to dry in that fight. Everyone will still be standing as a lot was utilized there, but nothing comes from it. Uh, Hoofa was a little bit greedy with his flicker, I think. He should just use second skill and go in under the, the under the Divine Judgment, I think. Student Divine Judgment yeah. of Valentina. But it's like communication I was talking about again. Okay, next time. We got a fight here. Hoofa initiating the fight. Mortal Coin follows up and flicker again out. Does flicker out, so again, no one going to fall. Turtle up the grabs here, Warren Marvy, and right now you can see a bit of a control is in the favor of Akami. They have all their members currently present, but Team Hack quick to respond. 
and they do have deterred aggro, but look at this. They're going to shove in that mid wave, so now they're going to force a response. It's a good play from them. This is the type of macro that you want to see. But the Fanny, the Angela, the Heart Guard combination is still Cable. If you're watching Attack on Titan come at you, why did picks up the turtle and still Cable's his way out? Lola in a bit of a 1v2 wants to keep going, goes in for the energy eruption, tries to talk, and now more Force comes out. He's up away. He's still alive, still standing, stuck out some way with the flicker from Pinto. Very aggressive on the Beatrix, and will again win the 1v1 up against Okinawa on the side. He's now 0 and 2 for Akami Esports, and that's not the start you want to see. Wow, I think Fredin was killed by his shield in the very last second uh, before the Marcus ultimate. Wow, that was so good. So he, or maybe not even shield, maybe uh, uh, no, no longer the frequent kill, so it was the shield probably. So I was talking about this communication a little bit, like second time here. Uh, Hufra, like on the bottom lane, they did good fight, but then Hufra, he got level 4. Uh, he used his ultimate and nobody followed him, like, like, the couple of, uh, like, half of the fight. It was good, but the other fight was not. Well, Bob is picking up fights, another one on the way, Magic Ball doing to get that portal in place, would have been pick up kill, blocks the cable, a beautiful execution by Rose Criminal there, the heart guard will not save Name here on the fanny, so that's something about communication going on, another nice knock over the Tyrant's Rage, more pull is on top of Lola, he may not be able to sustain it this time here, War Barbie, barely escapes, walks away, about a quarter of HP, they have helped him sustain there, but I have to say, I have to ask you a question as well, which talking about Rose Kermel, talking about communication, talk to me. What do you feel about this quantum charge on the Cooper? I mean, we saw it already, but it's pretty fun. Like, I think you can you can truly read from the uh, uh, far range because it's passive. And run a little bit faster and to initiate, maybe. You know what, honestly? That's... That's actually a pretty good, I don't know, I feel like that's actually a really good call because the passive right from Creeper, like I said, does have a long range, but it also has the healing capability, right? When you land that auto attack, it heals you for a bit, and if you stack that with the quantum charge, yeah, a little bit more sustain. That, yeah, 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 that was sustained, so it's more, it's more like a, a positioning initiation thing instead of just black. Oh. Speaking of positioning and initiation, a nice jump into the into the bush there. Gonna facilitate a kill on the Kinji's hand. Not gonna stop there. Another destination from Kinji. He's on a tear. Someone's gonna stop that runaway train. Puts another destination on the name, but not low enough to find the kill. Rise jumps in with the tires raised. Won't connect on the mark here. Tur Turtle Aggro has been pulled by Team Hack. It's gonna go ahead and be reset. Good play from them. But look at that. Sinji has joined into the fight. The XP lane of Makami Esports is now here. So he's gonna go back to top lane. And the new raw name is actually potentially going to play up that wave as well, but the response in time demand is more response. Hmm. I was just thinking, like, does Turtle get evolved into the world? I did. It did get evolved. <laughs> so it's like kind of the evolution thing. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I was thinking about Akami Esports should keep this phase up, keep initiating these fights, making these skills to actually snipe the game. And well, speaking of things here, they're going for an early lord without securing too much. We're going to pick it up. Kenji does find it, but the lord will knock up all. No one has fallen just yet, but change my mind. Loma takes out Rose Criminal, and a cutthroat over the wall from Nain will take down as he's looking for a little bit more. And he's a tower. Loma will pick up the double kill. Frederick, the walking petrified, 3-1-3, three, and three, leading the stampede for Team Hat. Ah, oh, it's not, it's, this lord is not going to do anything, I guess, if you want to fight sometime. I actually, they don't clean it. The, the, the next wave of super minions is gonna spawn as well, and the kind of esports can go to push now, because uh, Team Hack decided to go for bottom tower instead of cleaning fast clean lord, and now we're going to have uh, two mega waves, and this new Akami esports is going to push mid lane if they decided to. 
Army Esports is doing forward just pushing the lanes. They're actually pushing a bit of the tempo up against Team Hack. Like you said, that Lord was pretty aggressive, very early, very fast, and without securing even a pickoff, without taking anyone to zone off team, remember, rushing that down and securing it right in the face of the Team Hack. So, Akami Esports, maybe one of the teams that, like we were talking about, loves the calculated risk as Rise Criminal almost knocked Dane on his path, but now he's being punished. Divine Judgment will go ahead, but the conceal, it might help him. But no, the Nimbus catch reveals him. Tried to catch him, was low, but Nim will go ahead and take him down. That was almost a sneaky escape here as the Kami Esports is looking for the next hour, but Danny comes down with the heart guard. His man will take a kill courtesy of the piggyback ride onto the fan. Wow, talking about calculated risk, it was definitely not one of the cases because it's like it's something similar when you hook on Franco on the cable thing, but the uh, Rice Criminal trying to like uh, first kill thing out of the cable, but he didn't notice like the whole train of enemy team approaching from the new end. Right now, speaking of the new lane, a little bit of pressure from Team Hack. We lose passion. He's going to drop him low. Hits double five. The kill is a crazy rap. Was coming down. Sinzi has been erased from the map. But look at Name Flame flying high. I thought he was going to come down mid, but he had to pick up that purple buff first. So I was like, we're going to see another base from the face there. Live and in action. Look at Team Hack, though, looking to apply pressure into the jungle. Lola in a bit of a 1v3. Gets the heart guard, though, which is a lot of force dropping on top of him. But here comes the fanny. The heart guard is able to sustain so much. Name will find Okinawa. Still over the back line. A double kill for the jungler from Team Hack. Showing you the power on the fanny. War Barbie. I know we were questioning about the simplicity and the complexity of these drafts, and we put fanny in the box that not many should check off but team hack doing a good job so far with it yeah true uh, but i'm thinking as well but about beatrix and the parent comparison in comparison beatrix just go for the initiation and follow up with damage but now initiation was quite good i mean Fredrin just went into the bush and she didn't know there are three people yet they couldn't uh, couldn't kill him couldn't blast him pretty much zaman force was dropped down but damage was kind of low I mean, it's really hard to do too much. I mean, he already has the heart guard, and then you have to fix. The Zaman Force drop right on top of him, right in the path of the energy eruption. So while he has to try to put out what little damage that he does have, being taunted, being knocked up is a good way to stop a hero from applying as much damage as they would like to. It's only four seconds, really, on that ultimate you have for about four or five seconds you have on the ultimate. If you get CC for about half of it, well, uh, there goes your answer. <laughs> Not a lot to do there. Yeah, true. Seems like Akane Esports cannot keep up with the pace. We was talking about uh, about uh, execution of the ultimates. Like Kufra need to keep making good, good ultimates, keep making good pickups, and then maybe Valentina some divine judgments stolen from the Kaza, and uh, they could keep up with the tempo this way, but it's not the case. Okay? Not the case at all. Maybe we pass him from Hitzo, he's gonna force in that cannon minion. S will be quick to respond. There's a Lord though knocking on their doorstep down on the bot side. Looking to seal from on. He wants to play. Finds the flicker, but he gets knocked up. Askew jumps in now. Here comes a knockout strike. The CC train of pain has been unleashed, but Hito will strike first, will take down Sinzi, even though they had such a great opener. But look at Nang trying to find the damage onto the crystal base. Lord has been cleared out. They got three ways moving in. And one another missing from a con. He's was just a rescue key for disaster, potentially. People are dropping the soul of the crystal base. No one can stop Team Hack. And they're looking to send them back to the loading screen. And they will for a body strike first. One to zero. Nice. Last fight. Wow. It was so unlucky for the Hufra. Did you say like, it was concealed? Uh, first kill uh, was charged by, charged by Hufra. And uh, 